This intro goes on a bit, doesn't it? Hello, it's Mark from Don Aimot Leisure Kingdom. I'm not singing in the rain, but I'm in the rain here at Don Aimot Showground at Hilton. And today I have for you a 2019 Rapido 696F. So it's a two sleeper with an optional four traveling option because it's got removable traveling seats which are now stored away in the garage but i'll show you those in a little while um and it's seven and a half meters in length on a 2.3 150 horsepower automatic gearbox uh, it's done just over twelve and a half thousand miles and it's been really really well looked after it's really beautiful and i'm excited to show you around the motorhome so we've got alloy wheels Real, real nice cream leather interior and we've got the cab blinds and we've got the uh, door blinds as well. So these are nice and easy to use. They pull all the way over and it's stunning. So when you work your way down the motorhome, you'll see you've got a wind out Fiamma F45S canopy awning. Nice wide habitation door. Just bear in mind with this motorhome, it is a continental spec van. So your habitation door is on the driver's side of the vehicle, not the passenger side. Um, you've got privacy blinds on the door as well. Big bin, nice wide entrance space. And then you've got this pullover fly screen here as well. When you move further along, you've got the fridge vents. So you can say it's going to be a nice size fridge freezer that's in there as well. And then you've got this huge storage space underneath the bed. And these are the traveling seats that slot into position behind the driver's seat and passenger seat if you want to take two additional passengers. Um, we've got the blown air vent which runs into the garage space as well so it's a heated storage space and then you've got this really nice protective floor uh, and the garage you can actually put 150 kilos in there as well so if you're carrying um, bikes boxes luggage whatever you want to put in there up to 150 kilos is perfectly safe um at the back you can see there's a reverse camera just up the top there and round this side you've got a smaller access door into the garage but it does run all the way through you've got here your water filler point toilet cassette and the vent for the boiler so it's the truma combi blown air heating system which runs off gas and electric or one or the other and then you've got your electric hookup point and then in there space for two gas bottles so round again past the front of the vehicle and we're going to jump in get away from this umbrella in the rain and i'll show you around the inside hello everybody so thank you for joining me inside the motorhome so down at the front of the cab you can see it's got the automatic gearbox and then just in the center there working your way down you can see you've got the controls for the hazard lights um, and just above that you've got the air conditioning controls and then you've got the multimedia center so that's a Kenwood upgraded display so that's a CD DAB Bluetooth connectivity and then you've got controls on the steering wheel for all your Bluetooth and media functions and the cruise control is just on a little stalk to the left hand side behind the steering wheel um, you've got this real nice sort of leather interior um, all sort of premium edition embossed as well and then you've got this dining table which this is your dining table support so that can fold away and pull out so when you want to use it as a dining room that's a nice size dining table for two for two or four people and then when you travel in you can fold it over push it back underneath and you've got plenty of space to walk through getting into the driver and passenger seat these uh, lights are all swivel around and you've got a little rocker switch on there for each individual light as well big storage lockers above and um, the traveling seats the mounts are just in these little holes here so all you do is remove these cushions take the backs of the chairs out from underneath you can see your seat belts are just there so all you do is drop the base in drop that back down move this unit out of the way and then that turns into a traveling seat and it's the same on the opposite side in the kitchen area you've got this real big sort of three ring gas hob hot and cold running water and a nice little sink there as well light switches and you've got a 12 volt power supply at the back there then underneath there you've got a three pin socket for your kettle if you want to put one in it's an oven and grill combi and there's nice storage drawers as well it's very very white and in here and it gives it the <laughs> it's really light and it yeah. makes it feel huge um there's lots and lots of space in here you've got this great size fridge freezer as well so fridge there freezer at the top 
and then you've got this shutter drawer that call, pulls all the way over and you can have your TV mounted in there and then that bracket comes all the way out as well and then you've got this little storage locker at the top as well and the TV points are just at the top there so all you do is feed them through this little plastic flap so your cables will go straight into the back of the telly and then into the back we've got this separate toilet to one side shower the other so you can if you want to when if you would just like to take a step back yeah. for me a second back. yep so this door for your toilets on this side will close turns it into like an ensuite and you've also got this sliding door in the bedroom as well so if you are taking people away and if they were outside in an awning or in a tent or wherever they choose to sleep um you wouldn't have to walk past anybody to get into the toilet and shower of an evening um showers are really really nice space nice size lots of light coming through with a big skylight above it as well mm -hmm. and then just to this side yeah. you're going to take a look in there again lots of room uh, really really nice uh, it's really bright in there as well so um it's not dark and it doesn't feel claustrophobic and then to the back of the van uh, we've got these uh, his and her storage cupboards in the corner overhead lockers 12 volt lighting and then this big island bed as well with all the storage underneath from the garage which we've already looked at and you've actually got two slide doors that pull together as well nice big skylight and it's really really well illuminated lots of storage lots of space yeah it's beautiful you do need to bear in mind with this motorhome like several we've got um, at the minute uh, 3650 kilograms is what it weighs so you will need to make sure you've got the c1 entitlement on the back of your driver license to be able to drive it um anybody that passed before 1997 will have that automatically um but uh, just double check if you've got that or not and then above the habitation door you can see you've got your control panel here for your heating and hot water and this one is your 12 volt panel so this one does all your internal and external lights water level check um turns the water pump on and off and turns all the 12 volt system on and off as well as well as a fire alarm and a co2 monitor so that's all on there as well um it's available to view it's here on site here at the showground at don a mott leisure kingdom so for all of you rapido fans feel free to give us a call and book an appointment for viewing uh, we are open and uh, seven days a week so uh, feel free to give us a ring numbers 01283 732193 my name's mark thanks for your time see you soon